Azarullah, a star with the ball in last year's T20, bagged the best figures of his one-day career of 5 for 38, but heavy rain which arrived during the interval at the Aegeus Bowl meant that the Royal London one-day cup match between Hampshire and Northamptonshire Steelbacks was a no result. Batting first after winning the toss, Hampshire made a decent enough start as Sean Terry promoted to the top of the order after impressing lower down last time out and Michael Carberry opened up with a stand of 45 made in the first eight and a half overs. Carberry can count himself very unlucky for getting out on 21. He timed this shot of Andrew Hall to perfection but picked out Graham White on the mid-wicket boundary. Jimmy Adams was in at three and departed after making 17, Azarella trapping him right in front as the batsman tried to whip to leg. Terry again looked good. He struck 63 at number seven in the loss to Leicestershire and he was on his way to another half century after sending James Middlebrook's fourth delivery over the rope down the ground. A second maximum off White at the start of the 25th over took him to his 50 off 62 balls. As well as his two maximums, he struck three fours and it helped his side get off to a reasonable start in a competition which has not started so well for Hampshire. Alas for Terry, he was out five balls later, failing to open the face of his bat enough to be caught in the deep by Matt Spriegel. Terry was on his way for 53. That left Hampshire on 125 for three at the halfway stage of their innings and it was left to Sean Irvin and Will Smith to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Missing the all-rounder duo of Stephen Crook and David Willey, Northamptonshire relied on their medium paces and three spinners to try to stem the flow of runs, something all but Hall were able to do. Smith, having an excellent season with the bat since his move from Durham, was at his latest 50 off his 55th delivery. Not known as the biggest hitter in the game, he'd worked the ball around well, finding the boundary only twice off successive deliveries from Hall. His partnership with Irvin realised 64 runs in 12 overs and was ended when Smith, now on 59, cut Morris Chambers to Stephen Peters at backward point. It was a wicket the home side never recovered from. In the next over, Irvin, who'd made 34, tried to go over the top one-handed off Azarulla, but found Adam Rossington at long on. Two balls later, Azarulla struck for a third time. Michael Bates LBW to his first delivery, leaving with his side now on 196 for six, with a dozen overs left. Chris Wood was at least able to bring up the 200 in partnership with Liam Dawson, but then the last four wickets fell quickly. Wood belted Chambers out to White to go for 18. Before Matt Coles followed in a very similar way, this time off Azarella, who was having a day to remember. Indeed, when he flattened Dawson's leg stump, he had a fifer in list day cricket for just the second time in his career and for the first time in this country. He wasn't able to bowl his last over though, as Hampshire were all out before then, Chambers finishing off the innings as Danny Briggs hold out to Spriegel. So Azarella had to settle for career best one day figures of 5 for 38 as the home side were dismissed for 249. Alas, the rain then arrived in Southampton and that was that, both sides having to settle for a point which does neither any favours as they try to make it into the quarters. That is now looking unlikely. Next up for the Steelbacks is a trip to neighbours Leicestershire on Sunday, while Hampshire take on Worcestershire under the lights at home on Monday.